Maybe you think that web design is too complicated or too technical, or maybe you think it's hard to get clients or that the clients don't pay you enough to make it worth your time. And you're not entirely wrong with that. Surveys have shown that web designers make around $52,000 per year, which is about $4,333 per month. But that's also assuming that you wanted a cubicle job where you work for someone else and you're tied to a location. Most freelancers that are doing things on their own make way less. The problem is not web designers as a whole or that clients just don't want websites anymore. These are myths that we are going to debunk in this video. I think web design is an amazing business where you can make six figures, multiple six figures, over $10,000 per month. I'm talking doctor kind of money in a very enjoyable way. I went from a struggling freelancer who got three clients my entire first year year, which we all know is not a lot, to now making over $20,000 per month in profit while being a digital nomad, traveling the world, going to whatever country I want, which doctors also can't do when I applied these tactics. If you're any kind of creative providing services, these strategies will help you get more clients. And the crazy thing is that no one is doing this correctly. I'm going to debunk it all and I'm going to give you a roadmap on how to get there in four steps. My first websites were horrendous. I was not a good designer, but guess what? I was still able to make money and to learn the entire process through trial and error and putting myself out there. I learned how to properly reach out to clients. I was able to make a full-time income even early on. I was able to stop holding on to every single penny that I made. I was able to pay my mom an income and help take care of my family. The problem with most web designers is they make money one time. They have no recurring income. Every single month, they start from zero. Even if last month was an amazing month and they got two clients, maybe they made $5,000, $7,000, but the next month, they're back at zero. I'm going to show you how to transition from being this kind of one-and-done freelancer into an actual business owner and eventually get to a point where you're working on your business versus working inside of your business and building everything yourself. And then I'm going to show you the best and most profitable monthly recurring services that you can offer to clients so that you're not starting from zero every single month. The first thing that you have to do is craft your package. I have two packages, a high ticket website and a low ticket website. The high ticket website is anywhere from four to $6,000. And before you have objections about people aren't going to pay that, local businesses can't afford that price, I have a live sales call on my channel of me closing a client for $4,000 that you can check out after this video. It's absolutely possible and I've sold a bunch of these. Now, even if you're selling these high ticket websites, I still suggest that you offer hosting services for anywhere from $50 to $150 per month just so they have this high ticket website on your server. You can manage it and you have some recurring services. You can build this high ticket website any way you want. WordPress, Webflow, even drag and drop builders like Go High Level or Weebly can work as well. The next one is the low ticket services. I suggest you charge anywhere from one to $200 for this. 150 seems to be a sweet spot. And before you think that is way too cheap and discard the idea completely, understand that this low ticket website is a copy and paste template that you're going to use for that niche or for that industry. Meaning if you just work with plumbers or if you just work with roofers, you're going to build that website out one time and you're going to be fully transparent with them and you're going to tell them all you're going to do is swap their photos so it's a little bit custom, maybe even copy and paste an about us section to put on that website and you're going to launch that for them because we're going to be working with people that don't have a website or that are tired of paying these expensive fees and they'd much rather pay you something low ticket for you to put their logo on top, swap a few images, maybe takes you an hour, maybe less, and then you're good to go. And then they pay you 150 forever. A lot of these business owners still understand that having a website is better than having no website. And with this model, we're only going to be reaching out to people that don't have a website. I like to build all these websites inside of a go high level. They make it super simple because I just have one account. You can be in any plan you want and have unlimited 
websites. If that's all you're doing is website hosting. So it's completely worth it. It's very easy to import one of their templates and then just copy and paste it for everyone. Replace the logo, replace any images, and you can do it all with a lot of speed. With this low ticket model is the most important part. And don't be a perfectionist with these websites. Understand that you're going to get better with time. In the beginning, I didn't know what I was doing. I was using Wix, Weebly, WordPress, every website platform that you can imagine. I've probably tested it. If you want everything imported into your account and just copy and paste everything that we've built with a click, you can now do that. It's working like crazy, not just for me, but we've proven that this works for people with all kinds of experience levels and backgrounds. In fact, Go High Level themselves rated us the number one course because of the results that we get for people and the support that we give. I'm gonna show you A to Z, how to get clients, deliver results, grow your business, and then even hire employees to run it all for you. I'll even talk to you on Zoom and answer questions to make sure that you succeed. If you want all this for free, go to laptopceo.com or check the link in the description. Step two is we're gonna create your offer and start reaching out to clients. I like this offer right here, and you can even offer a website for free for 30 days for them to just try it out. And again, this is a copy and paste template. You make the website, you use chat GPT to put in the content. It's very cheap. You're fully transparent with them. You just add their logo and they can have it on their domain. If they want something custom, they're going to have to upgrade with you and pay you your high ticket prices. You're going to find templates for all the different categories that you might be going into, like massage therapist, roofers, chiropractor, physical therapist, everything you can imagine. And the third thing is going to be your monthly reoccurring services. The best way to do this is to ask your client, what do they need? And before you even ask them, you want to think about it. What else does a local business owner need? What else do they purchase? What else would help them in their life and in their business? I'm talking what would make them more money or save them more time? This right here is a list of potential automations that you can use for your local business owners. There's a lot of stuff in here, but one really powerful one is automatic missed call text back, meaning your customer gets a new call for their business. And instead of it going to voicemail in case they don't answer, it's going to text them a message. Hey, sorry, we missed your call. How can I help? Right? Automatically text that lead. From there, you can also automate Facebook messages. So instead of a local business owner needing to go out and get access to their Instagram, their Facebook, and try to message people back and forth there, you can put everything in one dashboard. Another question you can ask them is, how fast do you respond to your leads? Look at this Fast5 automation, which automates emailing, automates SMS, call connecting, does automatic voicemail drops, does all this stuff so your client doesn't have to do any of it. Google my business messages, list reactivation. So if they have a list of past customers, like a massage therapist, you can email them or text all their customers and give them, hey, all returning customers are getting 10% off, right? You send them that text message. It's going to get them a bunch of new appointments just using your system. Another one is a lot of businesses forget about asking for reviews. And we all know how important the five-star reviews are on Google. And that automates all of it. All they do is press one button, automatically it asks them for a review. This is an example of an automation. I'm not going to go too far in depth here on how this all works, but let's say they give you that past list of customers. You text them, hey, contact name, hey, Bob, we're giving away 10 55% off coupons for your next three month membership. Thought I'd reach out to you first. Let me know. Instantly, imagine you sign on a client and in the first week, the first two weeks, they're getting results and they get a bunch of brand new customers. They're going to love you forever because you made them money, especially if you offer them a free trial. Next on our list is going to be your high ticket services. I'm talking Google ads, Facebook ads, SEO, anything like that. This is my Facebook ads account here. And these are the results. I'm going to refresh it so you can see that it's live. And this is for a remodeling client and a campaign that we are running for them. So any of these projects for the client can make them twenty to fifty, sixty thousand dollars plus. So if we can send them a bunch of leads or if we can send them right a bunch of interested people, they're happy to pay for it. And the way I stumbled upon this industry is I do have a niche list 
right here that I'm also going to link up in the description. And you can see what each of these industries are paying for leads. So you can see with remodeling, it's definitely more expensive. You could see what uh, patio covers are, cabinets, and how much all these people are paying. So if you can get them leads that are cheaper, right, instead of them paying $100 elsewhere or $120 elsewhere, we can get them cheaper potential customers and better quality. They're happy to pay us anywhere from one to $2,000 per month. We charge $2,000 for this service. That $2,000 is just our service fee. They spend an extra $50 per day inside of Facebook so we can actually show all the ads. Realistically, what is your freedom number? Is it $4,000, $6,000 per month? A lot of people have a goal of $10,000 or $20,000 per month. But what do you actually need to be free to pay your bills, to actually leave your job, maybe leave school and pursue what it is that you want? Four to $6,000 per month in profit in recurring services is more than enough. And that's why I love this business model so much because the hardest part of all of this is to set it up, right? How long does it actually take to manage all of this? Let's say you get a bunch of website in a day clients. Let's say you get a few ads clients and you're making five, 6,000 in reoccurring revenue. How long does it actually take to manage all of this? Not long at all. It's done. Is it four hours a day? Is it four hours a week? Is it four hours a month? Depending on how good your systems are, any one of these are possible. And at this level, once you figure out how to reach out to people and get clients consistently, you'll just have to ask yourself, do you want to make more money and work harder? Or would you rather just bring in five or $6,000 per month in profit, but just work very little and install systems to manage all of it? I have clients that are still paying for my SaaS program and I only speak to them maybe once or twice a year, but I see them every single day texting inside of our dashboard, inside of our white labeled go high level. They're using all of our automations. As soon as they get a call, they send an automatic text. Everything is being used, but they don't speak to me because they don't have to. It's there, it's working, and they don't want to change it. Now you should ask yourself, how long will it take you to actually achieve this goal? If you wanted to make $5,000 a month, would it take you six months? Would it take you one year? Would it be worth diving all in and diving deep into this business model for two years getting to even that small number of 5,000 a month to be free for essentially the rest of your life, to build skills that can never be taken away from you, you can't even put a price tag on that. Me personally, I wouldn't mind even working five years if I can get to $4,000 per month in recurring revenue, and then I could step back and work very little. It's a no-brainer. You're working hard for a couple of years, and then you can be free and prosper or work on other stuff after you hit that initial goal. Now, I have people inside of my free community that are hitting $8,000 or $10,000 per month in less than half a year, which is kind of crazy. I wasn't able to do that. I didn't really have the guidance and mentorship that they have. But at the end of the day, even if it takes you longer, that's okay. And a fourth step is to pick a niche and double down on it. As you continue growing and scaling, you just don't want to work with every single business owner. It's much better to work with one industry. It'll make your life so much easier, even if it feels like you're leaving money on the table. In the beginning, you can start with any niche you want. In fact, for me, in the beginning, I just needed cash. My niche was anyone that would pay me. But then as I wanted to scale, it was very hard and took up a lot of my time. Every project I worked on was unique and different instead of being an expert within one vertical. Which message do you think sounds more powerful? Hey, I just built you a website. Do you want to see it? Or saying, hey, I just built you a free plumbing website that will help you get more service calls, more leads, more phone calls, more automatic appointments. Do you want to see it? Can I send it over to you here? Obviously, the second one is going to be much better because I speak their language. If you want to see more tips and strategies on how we get clients or even set up any one of these monthly services, you can check out this video right here.